track totems, and uh, I'm not sure if I've ever made this explicitly clear in the past, but I wasn't really a fan of dark pack totems pretty much up until this patch. And that's because they were just difficult to scale with, uh, you know, most of the ascendancies and stuff like that. You could do assassin or you could do uh, a cultist, but then you'd kind of have like other nodes that wouldn't really work with your build or something like that. And for me, freeze pulse was just a lot better. It had like the freeze utility, still had a lot of damage, and uh, it was just an overall better play, right? But now with the addition of Hierophant, or not the addition, but with the change to Hierophant, you can get two additional totems. It kind of solves that problem because how do you get more single target? Well, you just slap through two more totems down. Easy game, right? <laughs> so that's pretty much what this build is based around. It has five totems, uh, two from here, one from here, and then um, the base one and the one from Soul Mantle. Why do we use Soul Mantle? Because well, it's just amazing for this build, because 50% increased totem life actually gives you damage. Then it gives you um, an additional link as well, and it gives you an additional totem. And it gives you access to self-flagnation, so you're just winning pretty much all the time with Spell Totem, or with uh, Soul Mantle. Using a Clear Mind, obviously, and a Spire of Stone. The Spire of Stone doesn't really get you that much, but Neither neither will a jewel, and it gives you totems cannot be stunned, which um, is like pretty decent, right? So uh, I think it says this seemed to be allocated in it. Uh, I guess so. So on one two, if I do this, will it turn green? Oh no, that's just telling me the value. Okay, yeah. So um, yeah, that works out. And then for the rest of the stuff, you're basically just uh, like I have Combs Roots here, and then I just have a scepter, a shield. Everything else is pretty unremarkable aside from uh, Ebridge Unification. Now you don't have to use this helm, but it does give you a decent bit of mana for MOM, gives you a decent bit of energy shield just for defense in general. And Void Gaze basically is minus 10 Chaos Res, and it fires off whatever you use a skill. And it, I think it lasts for 2.5 seconds. I'm not sure if that's the duration of this thing or if that's the duration of the skill being used. But it comes out like a cone. And uh, it's pretty good. So I just threw it in there. You don't have to use it if you don't want. But if you don't use it, you drop and damage a bit, as you can see. So going on to the tree here. This is what we have so far. I should probably quality some of this stuff. Just to, okay, so that's our damage. Um, Lightning Golem is the golem that we use. This is obviously like one mil basically because it's times by five. And not using any auras. So that's pretty much it. Oh, in terms of what we're taking from the Ascendancy. So I personally, I, other people take this, but since this build doesn't have a ton of health anyway, I didn't bother taking it um, and just got this for the extra AoE. Gives you a bit more spell damage. I don't think the spell damage is actually being taken into account right now. Because I don't have a flask made for it. And as you can see it's red here. But uh, neither is the regen. Really I don't think. Um, so you're going to have a bit more regen. Mana and life. Um, you're going to have a ton of placement speed. Four totems. And you get power charges for free. Now I did make another version of this build. That you can swap to voids with basically. Or you could just use voids all the time, but if you do that version, let's go back here. Um, okay, so that's this, right? And then I'm gonna save it because I don't think I think there was an issue with it. I'll go to wands here, and then I want to check to make sure that I don't have too many. Yeah, I think I have too many links on this one. Probably don't need critical strikes. Okay. So you get a bit more damage if you use uh, dual voids and power charges, as you can see. But obviously, then you don't have shield charge or anything, so it's a bit annoying. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions or anything, just let me know. Pretty standard totem build. Um, and yeah, so thanks for watching. Talk to you later.